Here is everything wrong with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. If you've been following the game around, you know the community has been kind of messy. Really, everyone has just been in a dispute of where the game went wrong. Everyone is trying to point fingers and it's just one big poop fire. Well, in this video, I want to go over seven core things that I believe went wrong with TCM and why it has lost 90% of its initial Steam player count. Now, I love this game, but we cannot ignore that the game is technically failing. So here are the issues I have noted. First issue is the game was released too early. Now the game was built and playable on release, but there were a lot of little issues that prevented people from staying on the game. The game should have first dropped as an early access and then fixed its core issues over some months, and then of course fully released the game later on along with Game Pass, basically giving it another boost after the initial release as a game like Outlast Trials did. Outlast Trials is now a lot more polished and will probably have a huge boost on PC as well as a lot more people will be back on the game and it'll have crossplay. There are also many other games taking the early access route and just staying in early access access for months to years so that they can fix their game before officially releasing. Every game should really try to do this or at the very least just run way more open betas. This is far down on the list because of some of the later issues that kind of stem deeper into this one. Another little issue that we have is the sweats. Now I'm putting this one at the bottom because sweats really only affect those who super duper care about winning. The sweats who main Connie and know how to loop are a killer's worst nightmare. While I will say I don't very often run into super sweats like this, going into the game I knew and everybody knew that this would happen as it happens with literally every other multiplayer game. Why I really don't see this as an issue is because it does make winning that much better when you do stop a quote super sweat. But this is a huge issue for a lot of the community and definitely has left a large part of it unhappy. But of course this is one that cannot really be fixed by developers, you can argue the unbalancing thing or whatever, but no matter what they do to balance the game, there will always be somebody trying to find the meta. This will be an issue with every multiplayer game, so we just have to learn to deal with the few sweats. Moving on to the next issue, we have the perks and skill tree. Now I actually kind of like the system as it definitely adds for some type of progression system, but it is overly complicated for the casual gamer and really even the gamer gamers. Like trying to explain how to get the perks is so overly complicated, it's not even funny. Of course by now most of us have it down, but for the first month of the game, I was basically just pressing buttons to try to just get any perks. On top of that, it takes ages to level up perks that you may not even know if you like or not and just have to re-level up a new one if you decide to. And after all that, if you still don't like the perks, you have to respect the entire skill tree to try a different route. It's just overall complicated and just overall harmful for the consumers. You also cannot run duplicate characters, so if you spend so much time upgrading one character and someone is using that character, you have to play with another low level character. I'm all for running characters, but I think the level up should be a little faster to encourage people to try other victims or family members. This is an issue that was just in the root of the game and really can't be fixed at this point. Now moving on to the next issue, which actually has to do with the previous one, is the developers. Now everyone loves to point fingers at the developers, while I do agree the developers aren't perfect and are repeating some of the same mistakes they made with F13, we also don't really know how hard it is to make a game. I saw someone saying they could do their job better than any of them and I highly doubt that. I think the scrutiny that comes with being a developer will crush you immediately and if you really think you're that good of a developer then go ahead and make your own indie game if it's that easy. No matter what a developer does there will always be someone hating and calling them dumb, lazy, stupid, poo poo heads or whatever. I promise the team working on this game cares and cares about doing everything right with respect to the franchise. I can only argue that they have taken too long to make certain changes or fix certain things but I don't know how their company works. I don't know how long it takes to create chains or fix a bug in a game, so I cannot judge them based off of their speed. Of course, we can all wish they would work faster, but that's about all we can do. And I know some of you are annoyed by people arguing back and forth, especially Matt. I really just don't understand why he would take the time to argue. I think bro just needs to learn that it's just a waste of time and just makes the developers look even worse. Even if he was right, he should just know by now that anything coming from Reddit and Twitter, if you decide to reply to that, will only end bad. Of course, it's good to acknowledge issues and make people aware that you see them, but it's not worth going back and forth over something that's subjective. Now, these next issues are what really crushed the game for me, and the first one being DLC. Holy shit, did they fuck this up. Hear me out. I believe we have enough DLC that has been released in this amount of time. However, the prices are absolutely ridiculous that it not only hurts sales, but prevents people from coming back to check out the DLC. There are no season passes or any type of deals. If you wanted to buy an execution pack, two new characters, and some skins, it costs more than the game, which is absolutely idiotic and such a terrible move by everyone involved. Especially since the game is on Game Pass, people would be more likely to purchase a reasonably priced DLC since they technically got the game for free. The prices just are not worth getting what you get 
I only bought the characters to make content around them, but I rarely use them since they don't fit with the team and Danny is basically banned. If you try to use him, people just back out, which I mean fair enough, I hear about the issues with him, which is another issue. Not only is it expensive to buy the DLC and it costs $15 for one skin that has no effect on the actual gameplay, but the two new characters are arguably pay to win and also expensive. The DLC was something that should have been an encouragement to keep people playing and really bringing people back, but with the bad pricing and pay to win, it only further prevented the game from this type of success. The only good that came out of it was free maps, but I mean, come on, that was a softball and really they only did that because it was easier to run lobbies. I also know that for some people, they're mad I suggested non-TCM characters be added. Well, here's the thing to all of you. The game is dying. Adding licensed content will not kill this game anymore because it is already doing that to itself. I don't understand why people are so against going against the lore for something that is already fictional. If it adds for great gameplay and brings in more players, I don't see the issue besides of course it disturbs the story. If there is a story to be told, they can tell that story first, but after that I don't see the issue in releasing non-TCM characters. And this will probably likely never even happen, and we are also supposed to lose support from the developers after August in terms of new content. I think if we do get continued support past August, there is a chance we will get non-TCM characters, but I think as of now it is likely that all the characters are designed for TCM only. So all of you will get what you wish for anyway. I was just making a suggestion that can literally only help the game and if it somehow did hurt the game, well, it was already on its way to rock bottom anyway, so I don't see the problem. Which this actually brings me to my next point and it's the guy who constantly says this. Oh, uh, the game is unbalanced towards blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's actually like so broken and unplayable. The developers don't even care. Uh, they just need to get rid of that and get rid of that and add this. Did you figure out who I was talking about? That's you. Shout out to Dave Chappelle. So it's not all of you, but this is what a lot of you do sound like to me, at least in the active community over on Reddit. The toxic and whiny community on Reddit makes the game so much harder to support. If I were to play the game without looking at Reddit, I would actually feel way better. I only look at it to stay updated on news and see what people are talking about, as it's what this channel is all about. But the constant dragging of developers and complaining about the game is such a big issue for really every asymmetrical game, and this is something that we can fix as individuals. If you see someone complaining, it's best to not give in. Who am I to say what people can and can't say, but if you are consistently complaining over on Reddit or Twitter, you are part of the issue for sure. Know this about the game. There are three killers. If two of them catch you, you will probably die. If you die to one killer, then it's not a game issue, it's a you issue. Now if you are on the other side and you are mad you can't catch a victim by yourself, then that is also your fault or at the very least your team's fault. The game since early development has been designed to require two family members to catch a victim. If you have an issue with that, then you just don't like the game at its core and never will and should just move on. But this is something we have known since day one and still remains true. But let's go further. If you lose 80% of the time and win 20% of the time, at least winning the 20% of the time just feels that much more awesome. When you're playing a battle royale, you will only be one of the 100 people to win. So winning 5% of the time is actually pretty good. But those few wins are what make playing it worth it. You can go nights without winning, but the one time you do win makes it all worth it. The reason people aren't happy with TCM is because they are just mad that someone did win and that they did. It hurts the ego that someone else won because of using XYZ so they just need to remove it. Really the person taking advantage of XYZ is not the issue. It's up to you to make adjustments to stop the person from doing the same thing, but you probably won't play those people again which probably really bothers people and takes them over to reddit to where they can go throw a tantrum. Now I have some gaming ego in me too and I do get mad when I lose, but I just say GG on to the next. You shouldn't get mad because you lost to xxbootylicker69420 XX. I've been ranting for a while now, but I promise you, booty liquor isn't the issue. You are for complaining so much. Now, if you want to complain about your team, that is 1000% fair. Team play is definitely required. If one side is communicating and the other side is not, they will probably win 90% of the time. That is definitely something that kind of adds an unbalance, but communication has always also been a big part of this game. I honestly hate giving this so much attention because I'm no better than the complainers, but I'm just trying to help you guys realize that complaining so much and spreading so much hate does nothing positive for the game or for yourself. I know I'm a hypocrite for saying that as I complain about those people, but it's best to just enjoy what we have and I hope some of you guys can see that. And if you are also someone that's tired of seeing people complaining about the unbalanced issues, it's just the people who do complain are louder than the others. So sometimes your team will cost you, especially as a family member, but that isn't something that can be fixed. If you want to play with me and some of the homies, feel free to join the Discord down below to hop into a game sometime.
And if you like my annoying rant and want to see more, or just want to stay updated on TCM content and other horror games, be sure to subscribe. Now, the number one issue that I believe most can agree on hurt the game is the lobby issues. No! God! <laughs> Now it has gotten better, but the initial lobby issue significantly deterred many people from continuing to play the game. I can agree on this. I made the argument that boohoo, you lost, just play again. Well, the issue is if you can't play again or it takes 10 minutes to play again, then that sucks, and I agree. So many people who were new or checking it out on Game Pass quickly turned away because it would take 15 minutes just to find a game. And this is just a deep layered issue that just isn't really that easy to fix. Well, they've kind of figured it out now, but it was an issue early on. Like because of the bad and long perk system, people will back out to play as their character. And because of the imbalances with characters like Danny, people will back out when they even see him. And because of people just being weirdos and wanting an easy game, they'll back out when they see a level 10. There's just so many issues with the game overall, and I feel the initial lobby issues only open wounds that have since grown. Like I said, I actually know that it's better now, but sort of too sorry too late. I don't know how complicated it was to fix the lobby issues, and the time it took might have made sense, but I have no way of knowing, and all I know is that this was definitely another reason the game should have been released as early access. I also didn't mention Connie being OP or Danny as a reason because I didn't want to give in to the annoying balance complainers, and although those characters are basically unanimously the best victims, I don't think they are the core issue of the game. If you decide to go down to the comments, make sure to let me know what you guys liked about the game instead of letting me know what other issues I missed. Just so we can actually have a positive comment section for once. I believe in you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go for a walk. Till next time. Love ya. See ya.